Okay, Dubers, this is what we have. 67 Chevelle. It says it's a 396. A buddy of mine brought this to me to get it running for him. As you can see, 9 of 08. Last time it was tagged. And I think that's because the guy had it parked outside and they had codes and he had to keep a tag on it for the time it sits outside. So we're going to do a, what they call a cold start, but I don't just start them up, so they'll have to go through a process before we start one like this. Actually, the car don't look like it's in too bad shape. I locked it. <laughs> the locks work. Hmm. Somebody's done some work here, it looks like. A few pieces missing. I wonder if the chrome's in the trunk. You said the chrome is a bunch of chrome in the trunk, so. Ha! Huh. Wow, the trunk's actually in half decent shape. So we scabbed stuff in and rubberized it. He said something about this thing hit a pole once and took smashed a quarter end. So. It wasn't damaged too bad. Probably on this side. Let's see where they've replaced the lower part of the trunk on the corner edge. Ah, another hole. <laughs> I knew I'd see it. Not bad though. Okay, and now let's see what's under the hood. It says 396. Okay. Yep, it's a big block. Hasn't been ran in approximately um, eight years. Seven years. At least the tags say almost four. Well, we're gonna get it running. The car is fairly clean. Somebody could really make this into a nice car. <clears throat> There's my mosquito hawk. We have problems with mosquitoes here in Florida right now. Okay, let's see what the interior looks like. Scraping fender. Interior is nice in this car. Huh. Yep. All right, people. You'll see me do a cold start in a few days after I make sure everything turns over. It's got fluids changed and all that stuff. I'll post it. We're working on it. Y'all have a good day.